Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yahweh Shai, Kaholo Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rukakadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule well and who has taught us this truth. Shalom, Wa Barakim, Lahabakarim, peace and blessings to the elect. And um, I was just meditating on this revelation, the second chapter. All right, so I'm going to read that and just go from there. The Lord's will just be edifying. This is Revelation chapter 2 and verse 25. It says, but that which you have already, hold fast till I come. All right, and what do we have already? All right, we have this, this truth, this knowledge, this, this understanding. All right, the understanding of the prophecies. All right, this faith. All right, and the scriptures say in Matthew's, he that endureth unto the end, same shall be saved. So we have to, it's not enough just believing in this truth for a moment. All right, we have to maintain a fervent belief in this faith all the way unto the very end. So this is red letter to our Lord, Yahweh Shai, saying unto us, but that which you have already, hold fast till I come. The word hold fast means to hold tight, hold firmly. All right. It says, and he that overcometh, and keeping my works unto the end. What do we overcome? We're overcoming this this world. We're overcoming this sinful flesh. All right. And how are we overcoming? By keeping the the Lord's work unto the end. All right. Doing the work of the Lord. All right. Growing in the Spirit. Getting into these words. All right. Constantly and faithfully. All right. That's how we're gonna overcome. Matter of fact, let's get this in First John real quick. All right, this is our first John chapter five and verse four. For whosoever is born of the heavenly father overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. So our faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is what's gonna allow us to overcome this world, man. And this is the reward for overcoming the world, man. This is Revelation 2 and 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Who are the nations? The nations are all the other races of people on the planet Earth outside of the nation of Israel. All right, the Lord promised us as his people, as his sons, as his servants, all right, that what well, if we um, are obedient unto the very end, we're going to have rulership and dominion over the heathen, man. Right? All right, which the heathen, they have rulership and dominion over us right now. So it's only just, it's only righteous, all right, that we get power and rulership over them, man. All right, Ezra, he, he said to the Lord, matter of fact, let me get that real quick and I'm going to continue reading. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 6 and verse, um, one and verse, all right, this is 2nd Ezra chapter 6, verse 57, it says, and now, O Lord, behold these heathen which have ever been reputed as nothing have begun to be lords over us and devour us. So Ezra was like, Lord, these heathen, which according to your word are nothing, man. The Lord refers to the heathen like spit or drop of water out of a bucket full of water. All right, so these heathens are nobody unto the Lord, but us as Israel, we're the Lord's um, fervent lover. All right, we're, we're, the, we're the apple of the Most High's eye as the as children of, of the Lord. But yet we're being ruled over. So Ezra was asking the Lord, so Lord, we as a chosen people are being ruled over by these nobodies. When is that going to change? All right. Verse 58, it says, but we thy people whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten and thy fervent lover are given into thy hands. If the world now be made for our sakes. Why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? All right. So Ezra was pretty much saying, since the world was made for us, how long is this going to endure? All right. And in Revelation, and the word Revelation means to reveal, the Lord is telling us that, look, this is about to change at the very end when Yahweh Shah makes his return. When Yahweh Shah makes his return, he's going to flip things and put things in the proper order. All right. And the proper order is for Israel to be the rulers over the planet earth man all right and when Yahweh shall returns we're gonna have power over the nations verse 27 it says and he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers even as i have received of my father 
All right. So what? How shall I receive this of, of the heavenly father? Because how shall is going to be the first slave master. All right. He's going to be the first one to inherit uh, the heathen for possession, man. All right. Now let's go ahead and get one of the first scriptures we learn when we realize we're Israelites, man. It's Revelation chapter 13, verse 9 and 10. All right. It says, if any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Who are the saints? Let's go find out who the saints are. According to the Holy Scriptures, this is Psalms 50 and 5. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Who made a covenant with the Heavenly Father by sacrifice? All right, it's the Israelites, okay? So the saints are the Israelites, and what are the saints patiently and faithfully waiting for? All right, it says, Revelation 13 and 10, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Right now, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we're in captivity right now, 2023, we're in slavery, we're enslaved under the so-called white man. All right, that's why we got a freaking social security number. All right, that's why we got birth certificate. We're nothing but numbers to these Edomites. And guess what? They can kill us at any moment. All right, they can they can poison our water at any moment. All right, because what? We're in their hand. All right, but what? It says they're going to be led into captivity. So soon, these Edomites, they're going to be in chains, man. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. All right, what? These Edomites are slaying us in the streets right now, and they've been doing this for hundreds of years. But soon they're going to be slain by the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. This is what we are waiting for as Israelites. If you're an Israelite, all right, and you've been woken up to this knowledge, to this truth, you're waiting for the Lord to redeem us, man. And what comes with that redemption? Power, rulership, and dominion over the heathen, man. All right. Um. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 6. It says, Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Heavenly Father to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. What does recompense mean? Re meaning back and compense going back to compensation, all right, which is payment. All right, so what? It's a righteous thing with the Lord to pay back those that trouble you. All right, so these Edomites and all these other nations who trouble us, all right, they're about to be paid back. All right, let's go ahead and get uh, Psalms 58. Just a couple scriptures to hammer in the point. This is uh, Psalms 58, 10 and 11. It says, the righteous shall rejoice when he seeth. The vengeance, who are the righteous? All right, the righteous are the Israelites. All right, the upright ones, the just ones. All right, and what makes us righteous in these, in these times? It's our faith in Yahweh Shai. All right. It says what? We're going to rejoice when we see the vengeance. The vengeance from whom? The scriptures say vengeance is in my heart. Whose heart? The Lord. All right. And our Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is about to bring forth vengeance upon the planet Earth. Or by way of this great judgment that is coming to the planet Earth. It says we're going to rejoice in that. It says he shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. All right. We're going to be uh, destroying so many of these heathen. That it's likened unto us washing our feet in their blood. Verse 11 says, So that a man shall say, Verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a power that judges in the earth. Verily means truly, man. We can't wait to truly see uh, the righteous judgment of the Most High upon the planet earth, man. All right. And it's near and it's coming quickly. All right, let's get this. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3. And verse 7, it says, In the time of the visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. All right, the Lord's going to give us spiritual power, man. All right, we're going to be running through these Edomites and these, these Elamites and Moabites and all these other nations that conspired against us as a nation, man. All right, the Lord told us in, in uh, Joshua, that one of us is going to be able to chase a thousand because it's the Lord that fights for us, man. All right. And this is what we're, this is the reward. All right. That we got to continue to meditate upon daily to continue 
uh, to motivate us in this faith, man. Verse 8, it says, They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people, and their Lord shall reign forever. All right? So we're going to have power and dominion and rulership over these other nations, man. We just have to hold fast until the very end, man. All right, but this was just a little quick thought. I just want to do a little quick little video on, on just the rulership over the heathens. Lord, as well as edifying, we'll give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Rakaq, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone who rule well. Shalom, wa barakim, la'abakar, and peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.